I'm making boards for you at a young age, but this is the one that you won the Pro Junior. I kept this for a long time. It has sort of like set me off on that first ever trajectory that I had. Two Pro Juniors back to back, World Grommet titles, and pretty much had that board for nine months. And it was the longest that I think I ever had a board for. And every time you'd make me new ones, I just kept going back to it. It was the start of our relationship of like knowing what a good board was. How many boards was I making for you back then, you reckon? The first ever contract you gave me, <laughs> I had um, two boards and swaps yep. and just keep swapping them over. And then I think this year I ended up getting probably 10 short boards. This was when I was 17. Yeah. Yeah. Went on my first ever search trips, went on my first ever boat trips, like did everything. So um, yeah, it's a, a definitely a special board. I had this board when Sean passed away. I was, I was filming for Ripco. That was a really fresh time for, you know, all the memories of Sean. And that was what, August. So yeah, I had that board in August and then went on to the Pro Junior the following year. So the whole community was like right there, you know, just supporting us. At that time, who was to know you were going to win? all these titles and, and all these contests and be the surfer that you were, you know? You were just a young kid that you and I got together at the right time. All the talk about dingoes, all, all the talk about Parco, and I was sort of like playing third fiddle to those guys. And that was the thing that just kept me driving and driving and driving. And even throughout our whole career, we just, we got to a point where we were just leapfrogging each other. And, and before we knew it, all three of us were in the top 10 in the world on the, on the world tour and we were just all tripping out. It was, it was wild. Because it was before the Superbank, mm -hmm. you know, but I think we used to get a lot more Kira than we do these days. When I was like transitioning from 15 to 16, yeah. it was the first time we had Snapper come around yeah. and the bank at Snapper was incredible. I remember surfing that for eight hours every day. For our real development years, we're in a point where there were so many good waves and there were so many consistent waves. So I think that's why the boards also became so much better. And then your whole shaping crew at that time was, was pushing each other too. Obviously you worked under Murray and Kenny Remus and they had the pipe dream and then went out on your own and then you had JS come under and you know, Chile was around at those times. That led into the year that I qualified and that was the year that I won Bells as a wild card, had a win at Margaret's and then ended up winning the, the QS to qualify that year. You've just had a special thing with Bells. What do you put that down to? Bells was the first place that I ever went on a like a surf trip to, like for a sponsor. So yeah, Andrew Murphy and um, Will Lewis took me down to Bells in 98 and that was the year that Hoyo won the bell and then they had their skins where Oki just went absolutely nuts and won the 55 grand and, and I was lucky because we were filming for a Quicksilver movie at the time so I got to surf with guys like Willsey, Mick Campbell, um, Jake Patterson, Kelly didn't surf with us, but <laughs> standard. And that was sort of like my love affair for Bells. And then I went down later in the year and, and ended up having a pro juniors there. And, and then the next year I got sponsored by Rip Curl and I was there for every Easter since then.